it was good. It was fun, man. It was uh, a lot of fun, you know, just getting back out there. Um, obviously, you know, some new guys, uh, new coaches, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, um, you know, same old stuff. So it was, it was just fun to get back out there day one in the book. So uh, ready to, uh, you know, learn from it and move forward. So. Um, I think in all in all the ways, in all the aspects, um, you know, leadership uh, being one, and then you know just you know decision making, kind of seeing things before they happen, um, and then just kind of you know the communication aspect of it, you know, being the quarterback out there, uh, getting guys in the right spot. Uh, you can tell that you know he's he's super prepared, and you know both mentally and physically, and uh, he did a great job today, and just continue to build on it. Yeah. Yeah, just you know, just kind of giving his evaluation of practice. Um, you know, things that that were done well, things that weren't done so well, um, what to improve on, just that, uh, you know the basic uh, stuff like that. And I think that that's you know this, a stepping stone that you know you're talking about. You know, that bringing the whole offense together at the end of practice. You know, being a leader. Um, so just continue to build on stuff like that. So uh, you know, I'm I'm happy that you know he's taking that role. Um, so. I think, you know, last year he was building on that, and now he feels comfortable, and now, you know, it's, it's his show. So, um, you know, I'm happy that, you know, he's, you know, in that position and, you know, comfortable enough to, you know, pull the whole offense together after practice and, you know, give his evaluation. And, um, you know, it was just a good day. While we're talking about QI, I heard he took up golf. Can you describe his golf? So he did take up golf. I've also taken up golf, in case anybody was curious. Um, and I stink at golf, so I thought I was bad at golf. I was like, too, like, when did you start golfing? He's like, oh, like two months ago. I was like, oh, I just started golfing last year. He's like, he's like, yeah, I hit a 91 the other day. And I was like, I've been golfing for a year, still haven't broke 100. So, um, so I guess Tua is a better athlete than me. Um, but, uh, yeah, he did pick up golf. So, uh, you know, maybe me, him, and, uh, me, him, and Durham will go hit the links. So it'll be exciting. Why, why did you go out of Pagan University when you were there? Oh, it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was cool. Um, you know, just kind of being around different guys around the league, uh, some guys that have already, you know, retired, you know, like Greg and, you know, some guys that um, are, you know, top of the league right now. So uh, just being able to, you know, pick some, pick some guys' brains and, you know, learn some things, ins and outs, all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, how they read, uh, you know, defenses pre-snap and how they're going to run this route and, you know, blocking techniques and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it was a lot of fun. It was cool. It was very productive. So uh, it was worth it. Graduate with honors? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, with flying colors, absolutely. Are there any tight ends that you look up to or kind of you know, watch their game for, for you during the year? Um, I mean, there's a lot of talented guys in this league. So, you know, when you do come across, uh, you know, guys like, you know, Travis Kelsey and guys like Darren Waller and, you know, George Kittle and, you know, talented guys across the league. And the list goes on and on. It's not just, you know, those three. Um, yeah, I mean, you can definitely take things from everybody's game. So, uh you know, I think when you're when you're around guys like that and you're surrounding yourself with talent like that, it's only gonna you know help help yourself improve. So uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can take some of that and put, implement it in my game. Yeah, yeah, pretty jealous now. Um, but uh, no, George, George doing great. Um, you know, obviously him and him and Coach E, uh, you know, as, as co uh, OCs. Um, you know, George still in the tight end room with us and, you know, helping us out and, uh, you know, coaching us up each and every day. So uh, it's good. I love George. Uh, he's done a lot for me, um, you know, on the field and off the field and, you know, help uh, develop me, you know, day in and day out. So, uh, you know, I owe a lot to George. Um, so, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, you know, they, they're, they're going to do a great job. Uh, they're both professionals. And, uh I think that you know the all the offensive guys have bought into it, and uh, you know we're excited for the opportunity. Mike, what's the rehab been like for you from shoulder, and, and where do you feel like you are strength-wise? Shoulder's good. Uh, got it all fixed up, and uh, been you know 100% probably since like April, late March. So uh, feel good. Don't even think about it anymore, honestly. So uh, you know, no more brace, no more nothing. So. What's the best part of the new facility? Well. There's no air conditioning outside, so not that. Um, I mean, look around, this place is great. Uh, you know, Mr. Ross and you know, everybody kind of did a phenomenal job, you know, putting this thing together. I uh, love it here and, um, you know, excited to 
you know, kind of get this thing rolling down here in uh, Miami Gardens. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you wish, um, you know, X the absolute best and, you know, whatever that situation is going on. I don't know all that all that much about it. But, uh, you know, as a teammate, as a friend, you do wish him, you know, the absolute best, you know, no matter what happens. Um, so, but for me, man, I just try to keep to myself and just go about my every day. So. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think that. That's just, you know, as a professional, you know, every single year, it doesn't matter what you did last year, good or bad, it's time to move on. Um, so I'm just ready for, for a new year. Uh, you know, I think collectively as a team, we did well last year. You know, collectively as a tight end unit, we did good last year and individually, you know, good last year, but it's all in the past now. So, uh, you know, no matter the good stuff, the bad stuff, don't get caught up in it and, uh, you know, ready for 2021. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, you build off of off of the success, you know, you but you also build off of the stuff that didn't go well. So, um, you know, just working to improve and, you know, remembering the things that worked and, you know, improving the things that didn't work. Uh, but like you said, you know, that that balance, because you don't just want to, you know, forget, you know, that, you know, you were making plays and that the team was doing well. And, you know, we won, you know, X amount of games like like that kind of stuff. You know, you know that, you know, this team's talented, you know, that you're talented, you know, that, you know, your group's talented. So you just build on it. So. Yeah, I was on FaceTime with Durham the whole time, um, so <laughs> missed him absolutely. So uh, now, nah, but all the guys were awesome. Uh, no, no specific, um, you know, tight end that I was with the whole time. You know, we were all kind of with a in a group the whole time. So it was cool. It was fun, um, and uh, you know, happy happy that I went. What's that? Last question. We're talking about golf. I love it. Um, no, see. I kind of, I got this like, like I hit it and then it goes left. I re, obviously, you know, the, the slice, then you got to play it. So it's tough. Uh, I could definitely use some lessons. Um, so, you know, any golfers out there that want to help me out, greatly appreciate it. What's the best part of Tuesday? Mm, snuck in an extra question. Um, everything's great about Tua's game. Really excited for 2021 with Tua. <laughs>